has maybe just a little bit more survivability uh, rather than the Urshifu. I think that's maybe why we're seeing the switch up because when you're going up against another restricted mon, you just have that one hit KO potential that's just so scary. But hey, with all that being said, let's see how this one shakes up. We're going to be going right into the first match. We're seeing the Calyrex Shadow and the Rillaboom versus that Urshifu. And there's that Gothitelle that's coming out nice and early trying to trap something in. Yeah, now Calyrex with that has one ability is just so strong, making berries no more part of the meta. Relying on that Rillaboom's grassy search to keep yourself in this. And all right, we're seeing the Goth still already out here. This Calyrex could pivot out here if it need be, but I think they're going to stay in. Urshifu has the U-turn to threaten as well. Yeah, I think this first game especially is going to be a lot of playing each other out. Exactly. Obviously, Matthew hasn't been here all weekend, so this is his first time here. So a lot of these players won't know how to go at them. The rest of these players have been playing for the past three days and know how to play how each one plays if they played them before. So Matthew is a total wild card in today's competition. Absolute wild card indeed. The Astro Barrage goes off though. It's just so fast. Doesn't even need the Trick Room setup. Oh. And almost gets the double KO, taking Urshifu down and Gothdol down to 20 HP. Yeah, that's a ton of damage, and seeing Urshifu go down that first turn is not a great scenario. We'll have to see how they bounce back. I don't know if we'll see Calyrex Ice Rider come out yet. They do have that Raging Bolt as well in the back. I think you need to start getting ready to bring out Calyrex and doing some intense damage. Exactly, you need to start closing that damage gap as soon as you can, because it's going to spiral out of control as that Grim Nay is going to keep on trucking here. Now, the Raging Bull being committed. They want to try and clear out this Calyrex, maybe with a Draco Meteor being covered. There's a lot of options here for Emma, but none of them are quite clear just yet. Yeah, you look at that Electro Web as an option to start slowing down Calyrex to get some of your faster Pokemon in the back ready to go. You also look at Gang Trick. You can also look at Thunderclap for that priority to Calyrex. I have to wonder what the damage calculation is here. I'm not sure if Thunderclap even knocks out Shadow Rider. Yeah, Matthew in an absolutely amazing position. Pretty much starting this one fresh with a special attack boost after that wipe. Emma has to dig deep and think which way to pivot this. You have the foul play, you have the trick room. You have a few options here to try and set up your next few choices. Bolt switch being committed, the trick room being committed as well. Let's just hope you can get it off in time. Yeah, I don't hate this play. I think this is a great play you protect Raging Bolt for later if you still need it. There's the Terra. Ooh. Terra Ghost. So really, this Terra Ghost we don't see very often on Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider has been commonly playing a defensive Terra like Terra Fairy to block, but we're seeing this Terra Shadow to really just up the damage of Astral Barrage. So this is probably going to knock do a ton of damage. Yeah, with a plus one from Grim Nay, this is, might even one-shot the Raging Bolt. Just barely That's does it. not, but <laughs> as you can That's see... That's a lot of damage. Another special attack boost going forward. The enemy Calyrex is going to have everything stacked against them. There's the Woodhammer to probably finish off Raging Bolt, and it does. All that is left is the Soul Calyrex. What a dominating first few turns by Matthew here. Exactly. We don't even know what uh, the other two mons he brought in are. Like, we can have an idea of what they may be, but the fact that the strategy hasn't been fully revealed by Matthew is going to be such an uphill battle for Emma. Oh, absolutely. And now, it's going to be an FF, because <laughs> sure, you could bank on a few lucky things happening, but a plus three Grim <laughs> Calyrex with the Grim Nay, not, you don't want to go up against that. No, pl it's plus three, there's still four Pokemon still alive, there's really not much you can do, but you take the FF and you refocus and try and figure out what you can do in the next game. Exactly, but it's going to be hard to figure out what you're going to do, especially if you're on Amistinks, because you lack that normal type. Even the normal psychics, psychics we've been seeing, like uh, the Farigarath and the Ndidi, they provide some immunity, some good defensive coverage against this Calyrex Shadow, even if for a quick swap and guarantees a Trick Room. kind of makes them have to weigh their options, maybe go for another move. But the fact that you don't have that makes this that much harder. You have nothing that's immune to these Astro Barrages. So even if it's not super effective, it's going to do so much damage. Yeah, there's the, there's a Terra Dark and Amoongus here. That could be really impactful and really help that battle. But it's going to be a hard fight. I mean, we're seeing this, again, for the first time, this Terra Shadow Calyrex here that we don't normally see. So that sh uh, Astro Barrage is doing just so much damage and you really have to play around it and avoid it. Give it can't give it the opportunity to, to Terra Ghost. 
Exactly. And the Focus Sash is going to be on the Caloric Shadow. So I think this is maybe a glass cannon build here. Just going all in. Even if there is a Dark type or someone that could single strike it out here, it's going to still be standing guaranteed two turns with that at least. Yeah, we've seen the Focus Sash a few times this weekend, and it's been really impactful in the games that it's won with Focus Sash. It means you have to hit it twice. It means you can't take it out in one turn. And even if you get that Trick Room up for Calyrex Ice Rider, it won't be able to gl Glacial Lance one shot because, because of that Focus Sash. Yeah, now, even if there would be a switch up on the team, there's so many heavy hitters on Matthew's side. You have that Incineroar to even pressure that Calyrex even more, lower the attack, make it dead in the water, just that much more. There's so much going on Matthew's team that it's going to be a tough battle for Emma. But it's not impossible. Leading with the Incineroar is a good play. Yeah, the Incineroar Calyrex lead here. I don't hate this. You can try and get up the Trick Room with Calyrex. Maybe you fake out the Rillaboom and hope to survive. The important thing to know here is that this Incineroar by Emma is just a pure Dark type. No Fire type moves, just the three Dark type moves of Knock Off, Fake Out, Parting Shot, and Will O Wisp. So great, it's good against physical attackers, but doesn't have a way to deal with Rillaboom, which is a big threat here. Exactly, but it does have a way to deal with the enemy Calyrex. That Knock Off is not going to do uh, bad damage here. That Fake Out pressure isn't going to work on Calyrex because of the normal typing. Yeah, and they're not going to not running Terra Fairy, so they're never... Go so even if they Terra, it doesn't matter. So you really have to fake out the Rillaboom. Exactly. Now, so many choices here on your Calyrex. Do you want to Terra? Do you want to try and lose out on those bonuses? There's really no defensive reason as to why you'd want to go Water right now. Yeah. Unless there's I something I'm not seeing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Emma is looking, looking into the future and seeing something possible, maybe trying to avoid a super effective attack. But Terra Water in front of a Rillaboom, you gotta be very confident you're able to stop this before it gets going. Yeah, my guess is they think they're gonna be able to one-shot it. I wouldn't be shocked if Glac Glacial Lance does get the one-shot. They just have to survive that Terra Ghost Astral Barrage first. Exactly, there it is. Both horses have now been terrored. The Calyrex is the kings atop their mounts, ready to face off in a spar right here. There it is. Now let's see how this one plays out. We have no idea what Matthew has in store. Rillaboom being faked out. Gonna at least get one turn in here. Astro Barrage Astro goes Barrage. out. The Terra Astro Barrage should be doing a lot of damage here, but it should not kill both. Yeah, it brings them both down to half. Yeah, some really great survivability there. And here's the Glacial Lance on the rebound. Gets the gets the one knockout, doesn't get the Calyrex, but get that, gets that Calyrex really low. Now you have that chilling nay going up, attack boosting on the side of that Calyrex is going to be absolutely massive. Now Matthew needs to act quick. Sure, he'll have one more turn here, one more Astro Barrage, but he needs to ensure that he can take out both of these Pokemon. Yeah, and that grassy terrain actually really helpful for Ice Ride here. Took a big hit from Astro Barrage, but can now heal up, could protect this turn. Except the Urshifu comes out, that Rapid Strike is going to really put pressure on making that Protect Read. Yeah, this is looking very, very difficult for Matthew, but there's, there are some exits here. There's some plays he can go for. Looks like Emma going to try for something interesting here. Hovering that Amoongus swap in to put even more pressure on this Galarix. Maybe eat another uh, Astro Barrage there try and save the Incineroar. Yeah, Urshifu is such a threatening Pokemon for Emma to face here. That the fact that it can hit through protect means you can't stall it out. You have to deal, you have to do something here to make it play, make it read correctly. Switching out the Incineroar here. But they're gonna go for that protect play, anyways. There's the Amoongus. Amoongus gonna be switched out. Calyrex using the protect, hoping to play some mind games here, using a big brain play. U turn comes through, hits through, and now we're gonna see another swap out. Yeah, the big thing with that U-turn is it does get Calyrex into knockout range from Astral Barrage. So we're gonna be sent out here. Now Calyrex Shadow has a few options if they did read this Protect. Could go for the Astral Barrage, try and take them out. Yeah, try yeah, and take the out Astral the opponent. Barrage. So we'll see how much damage that does onto that Amoongus. Let's see. Wow, does, does a, a lot. Ton of damage. And this is even before it gets any of its nays off here. 
Yeah, Cali again, Shadow Rider is such a strong Pokemon. We haven't seen it win this weekend yet, just because it's so frail and it struggles in a lot of these matchups sometimes. But if it can get into the right position, it can do a ton of damage. Exactly, it's such a glass cannon there, even more so the one made of ice. <laughs> and now, looking at this options, these options here, Emma looking to spore and shut down that Calyrex to get a swap in here, save Calyrex of their own. You're losing that stat bonus there, but I guess you did get lowered from the incinerator. Yeah, well, no, they have the clear amulet on Calyrex to block oh, that right. intimidate. But I think you have to switch out there because I don't think they actually survived a Astral Barrage. So you're trying to get Incineroar in here. You eat the fake out, thankfully, and now you'll get the sleep off on the Shadow Rider. No, they won't. It doesn't Amugus go first. Go down. Yeah, it loses the speed and it's going to be taken down as well. Incineroar being taken very low. A critical hit on Amoongus to just add insult to injury there. It's just going to be down to Incineroar, the Calyrex, and one more. And as you can tell, the snowball is starting to spin up here on the side of Shadow Rider. Yeah, we'll see Raging Bolt from here. I actually think that maybe with a Thunderclap, that might do enough damage to knock out Shadow Rider. We'll have to see. Maybe not, though. It will be close. Going for this Volt switch into the Calyrex. I don't hate that. It's going to do a bit more damage and allow Raging Bolt to get back in the back and hide for a little bit longer. Yeah, you have to try and play this one carefully. Very... Very difficult scenario, especially with Emma. You have the lead. You just have to make sure to not let this Calyrex get too strong. The defensive play is going to be massive here. The fake out pressure you need to protect here. Raging Bolt also using the Volt Switch there, but it gets blocked out. Yeah, a pretty, a pretty, pretty, a good read by Matthew to protect that Volt Switch, keeping Calyrex along for even longer. Grassy Terrain is probably close to going down here, so you'll lose that additional health bonus. Yeah, should be going down on a turn or two here. Now knockoff, super effective against that Calyrex. I think that would even knock it out at this point. Yeah, I think you have to go for it just to make sure you deal that damage. You just want to be careful because you don't want that Calyrex living on one. There's Thunderclap, Ooh. and it lives on less than 10%. And now it's going to get another Nay off here. Even if this doesn't take out the Raging Bolt, it's going to absolutely put them in a position to take this one as that Raging Bolt is now knocking on Death's door here. Just so close to being knocked out. Yeah, that did a ton of damage to Raging Bolt. And now it's hit with the parting shot, so it won't be able to switch out anymore and remove those stat buffs. So it is a rough position. And the Calyrex that Emma's going to switch in will not be able to defensively protect next turn either, because this Urshifu is going to be swapped in. Yeah. I think they would have loved to get the Volt Switch off onto the Calyrex, and then you could switch in Ice Rider and still gain that Grassy Train defense boost. Now the Grassy Train is gone, and now Calyrex will come in here just under 50% of its HP left. Yeah, now it is down to the wire here. Sure, there's three Pokemon left. You could maybe turn this around if you're Emma, but the odds are stacked against you. Matthew just has positioned themselves very, very well here. Trick Room, gonna be set up by Calyrex. That's the only chance they have to win this. Urshifu actually switching out. I did not see that one coming. You wanna get the attack drop on that Calyrex to try and even further ensure your victory. Clear amulet though, not gonna do yeah. much. There's a clear amulet. That's why you make the switch out, because you protect oh, Urshifu wow. from the Thunderclap. Disable the Thunder Punch wow. is a beautiful play by Matthew. Disable on Shadow Rider is a move you do not commonly see. And Encore as well. Wow. But maybe that play was not, I think you did have to do that. But now with Trick Room up, you have to play this very carefully. Yeah, that is a, this is a very interesting Shadow Rider set that I actually haven't looked at. Normally we see Shadow Rider running a second attacking move, either that Draining Kiss or that Psychic or some move in that variety. It lives the high horsepower. The Will-O-Wisp comes out now, it's going to be burned here. Oh, you hate to see that. It looks like it might come down to an Urshifu duel here, because the Volt Switch is going to come through, take out the Calyrex. Yeah. Again, that Disable being or the Disable hitting Thunderclap is really detrimental here, and that might be the game deciding winner. That Will-O-Wisp and the Sovereign Tantrum miss really hurts as well. 95% chance to hit, 
So there's that 5% chance window that it will miss, and it just happens to be the turn you really needed it. Yeah, now, is this Urshifu strong enough to weather a Glacial Lance and probably another move by this Raging Bolt? Because we are still in Trick Room. High horsepower going to come through. It wow! Nice. Incineroar stays up and gets the Flare Blitz off. Doesn't do much, though, because it's Terra Water. Yeah, that Terra Water really protecting it. But to miss Stomping Tantrum two turns in a row really hurts. And Urshifu survives the Volt Switch. Wow. And down goes Raging Bolt. But will they live this Glacial Lance coming their way? That's the big question. Uh, they're both very, very low. They're within one-hit KO territory. Yeah, I would say probably not if Calyrex wasn't burned. But that burn is going to lower its damage. I don't disagree with this here. Just trying to single target, knock out that Urshifu, gets the knockout. I don't know if Incineroar has enough in the tank to take out Calyrax. All he has is Flare Blitz. He has no knockoff to try and take out this force. And he's going to be taking a lot of damage from this as well. He's going to be ta taking very low. Will this be a knockout? No, it will not. The burn's going to get them very low, though. 7 HP. This is coming down to the wire. And now it will be decided within this next turn. They just need to hit this high horsepower. And they do. And Emma. Wow. And we're already going to a game three this early in the morning. Yeah, this is game Getting so competitive, this new regulation is absolutely amazing. And props to Emma, the odds look stacked against them all the way throughout that series or that match, and they managed to turn it around. Yeah, that was some incredible fight back there. I mean, they were really down against the cards, and then you see the burn, and then you see the stomping tantrum miss twice. Wow. And really, that's got to affect your mental game a lot. Exactly, but, you got to stay locked in, though. Yeah, but that ability to <laughs> bounce back is really crucial here. Got to stay. Yeah, uh, absolutely, I agree with you. And now, the Calyrex Shadow, even when it was performing, though, you could definitely tell its fragility really came into play. It was not able to stand up all the way through to the, the end when you absolutely needed it. No, and that's the hard part with Calyrex Shadow, is that it is just so frail. Sure, it hits like an absolute truck, but what does that do for you when you die to one Thunderclap or one of these other really damaging moves? I do like the actual tech of Encore and Disable, because that's something I would have never thought of coming out from a Calyrex. Yeah, that's a really interesting play. Uh, the Disable, absolutely imperative for that Thunderclap, but I think the fact that that came so late into it, like the Thunderclap was not committed, so it was not able to be disabled. The fact that it was not able to be disabled for so long, just the threat of it yeah. staying up was a beautiful play by Emma. And you have to think about that Disable now going against an opposing Calyrex, if it will get that, if it will disable Glacial Lance. If it turns off Glacial Lance, that makes Calyrex so much worse. Yeah, and now the Intimidate coming through. And Sonora though, I think it is stronger again into the Shadow Rider because it is that physical attacker there. Yeah, with both Fake Out and Knock Off. Knock Off will do a ton of damage to Calyrex and remove that Focus Sash from it, even if it were to survive. Let's see. Switching out the Shadow Rider here. Now Matthew playing a little bit more defensively. Going for the Urshifu switch in. Going for the Terra nice and early, trying to really lay on that damage. But if you know that that Urshifu, or that Imposing Incineroar only has Flare Blitz, that's a great move there. I'm trying to see if uh, Matthew has anything to cover this water terra type. You have the Reelaboom, but that's risky going to something that's uh, when it's weak to ice. Yeah, especially with the Trick Room up here. We're going to see those Glacial Lances coming in real strong and real fast. Now we're seeing the Parting Shot come through as well. You want to try and nerf that Urshifu as much as you can. Yeah, force that Urshifu to switch out. Make sure it can't stay alive, can't stay on the field for too long and force something else in that you want to take out in one shot. There's the high horsepower, does connect, does not pick up the knockoff on the kill on Incineroar, but Incineroar gets that will of bomb that hurts. Yeah, that's gonna sting quite a bit. Calyrex's gonna be burned down. The will o wisp right back, but Urshifu dodges the Will-O-Wisp. Wow. And using U-Turn, gonna get decent damage and give Matthew the ability to reposition a little bit, but I'm wondering now, you swapped into Urshifu and now you're swapping out. What do you. Do? I guess you're trying to put pressure and force the Terra type so you can switch into this Reelaboom. 
yeah, you can bring in the Rillaboom now, you can Grassy Glide, and you probably think that Rillaboom survives one Glacial Lance because of that burn having the damage from those physical attacks. Yeah, I think Re I believe in Rillaboom. They're able to withstand at least one Glacial Lance. Now Calyrex, on the side of Emma, gonna try and set up that Trick Room. Maybe go for a different play as well. The Glacial Lance could get a double knockout here, or at least take Reloom down to half. Yeah, if you're lucky with this Glacial Lance here, that could be crucial. We'll have to see what happens here. It's going to be a really close game down to the wire. Emma is not having a ton of luck with the accuracy today. No, it has been that high horsepower missed quite a bit. When it even ma mattered very, very much. Yeah, missing twice and then missing the, the Will-O-Wisp on the Urshifu. If you get that Will-O-Wisp off, Urshifu is pretty much dead in the water. Surging Strikes becomes a non-factor. All right, we're going to Terra the Rillaboom. Good defensive Terra there. The high horsepower is still going to threaten it, though. But at least you're not going to be threatened by the big spread move of Glacial Lance. Goes over to the Incineroar. Gets an Aka with high horsepower. Now, I think we're going to see a Grassy Glide come through from this Rillaboom to try and take out this Calyrex. I think they might be going for Wood Hammer. Glass, grassy Glide would have activated already, and there's the Wood Hammer. Gets the knockout, gets wow. the one-hit kill. That's exactly what you need if you're Matthew. And now, you can bring in your Calyrex without the threat of another Calyrex shutting you down. Yeah, you do still have Raging Bolt in the back. A lot of Pokemon can hopefully be helpful, and there's the Parting Shot. Again, restricting those options that Matthew is sort of forced to switch out now. Yeah, Emma, though, gonna do a double switch in here using Parting Shot and bringing the Amoongus, and now probably gonna bring in that Raging Bolt as well. Oh no, they're gonna throw out the in Incineroar to just go for some debuffs before they bring in the heavy hitters. Yeah, I mean, you might as well throw out Incineroar. There's nothing stopping you from putting Incineroar back out. Again, Raging Bolt is your end game win con if you really need it. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, there's the Unnerve. There is the Intimidate. Gonna really put a damper on that Rillaboom, especially with the parting shot as well. That Re Rillaboom, not gonna be doing much of anything. Yeah, I think Rillaboom's goal here is going to be to switch out. Rillaboom is probably going to U-turn, get out of dodge, and switch into something else. Yep, Incineroar now, putting a lot of pressure with this fake out and the knockoff as well, threatening the Calyrex. Protect on the Calyrex, a good move, keep it alive. Fake out comes through on the Rillaboom. Spore comes out from Amoongus. And it gets protected out by the Calyrex. With the flinch, Rillaboom can be struggling with choices here. Doesn't have much of anything to t absolutely take out the Samungus for sure. Yeah, with Trick Room still up, that Calyrex is going to be moving at the end of everything. So you have to decide what you want to do. Yeah, you have a lot of choices to make here. Wondering which way this one's gonna go. Emma's still in a position to turn this one around as long as this Calyrex doesn't get going. A few more nays though, and things will just be out of control. See, Rillaboom. Rillaboom really not doing anything right now. You need to get the swap out there. And you're yeah. gonna maybe go for a double swap, but you're gonna go for Calyrex switching out with the Urshifu. The spore. Now your Urshifu's asleep. That's a dangerous position to be in. But at least nothing has one hit potential here on the field for it. So there's the U-turn. Now we're going to see Calyrex actually enter back into the field. So a great switch to sort of move Calyrex to the other side of the board here. A good swap. Trying to prevent it from being spored out, but I don't know. You have to try and take out this Amoongus because they're just going to keep clicking spore every single turn. Oh, and the parting shot comes through on the Urshifu as well. That Urshifu, even if it wakes up, not going to do much. Yeah, I think we'll see the Raging Bolt make an appearance here. Now Raging Bolt puts a ton of pressure on Shadow Rider, puts a ton of pressure on Amoongus. I actually, if Trick Room does end this turn, I'm not sure how many turns of Trick Room we have left. Trick Room does end. I wouldn't be shocked if we saw maybe a Encore from the Calyrex, an Encore or a Disable. You, if you disable that Spore, Sleep is now out of the game. 
That would be smart. That'd be a very, very good play. But do you want to use that disable right now? Because it could be switched up with a pollen puff potentially. There's the electroweb into the protect. And really, this Rillaboom is not having a fun time this game as it's now even slower than it was before. Yeah, it almost wishes that Trick Room was up at this point. The Spore comes through and we blocked out once again. Yeah, I think disabling the Spore is the must play here. That leaves your Calyrex open to eat at least one or two hits, or at least one hit from this Raging Bull. Yeah. Now the Draco Meteor could do devastating damage to this Calyrex or the Rillaboom. Yeah, Draco Meteor will do a ton of damage if you think if you think Rillaboom's gonna switch out. There's the fake out into the Amoongus. And the Encore into the Electroweb, so Raging Bolt will not move this turn. It will get the Electroweb off, but that's not gonna do a lot of damage, except it will slow down the Calyrex. That's not the worst move to be encored into, but it's also not great. No, you're now forced, you really, your damage output is severely reduced. Electroweb is not a very powerful move. It can do damage, but it's not the greatest. Galyrix protecting itself. Electroweb goes out once again. It's blocked out, though. Speed falls, the spore comes through. Blocked out once again. You need to disable the spore because it's putting way too much pressure on you. Yeah, and there Rillaboom switches out, so it will lose its speed drops, go back to the back. Go back to the back indeed and bring out that Urshifu once again, but that Urshifu, uh, yeah, it's asleep. <laughs> it is a sleeping Urshifu and it will be asleep for at least one turn. That Electro Reb is not gonna do negligible damage there. It's still gonna be a super effective hit on that Urshifu. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if we see actually disable from the Ghost Rider this turn. I think you really just shut down any power that Amoongus has for the rest of this game. There's the switch back into Rillaboom. Does Rillaboom live in Electroweb? I think it'll be close. I think it will, but you're right. It will be close. This Grassy Surge comes out once again. Trying to keep that regeneration There's the disable. Up. Beautiful disable. Beautiful play from Matthew. And very patient as well. He wanted to get himself in the perfect position before committing that disable. Calyrex avoids the Electroweb as well. Um, so it's not going to be the slowest thing on the field just yet. And Rillaboom lives. Rillaboom lives. And with fake out pressure from Rillaboom, things are looking very good for Matthew. Yeah, I think Emma's just not having the luck today. Everything that could go wrong has, in fact, gone wrong. And you got to find the way to reverse, reverse that going forward in the next future rounds. Exactly. You know, it's just the beginning of the day as well. You got to get used to your team once again. It's like getting warmed up before a workout. It's not the first games just don't go your way. And both players also bring this to a game three. So, you know, things are already very spicy here. Ash Barrage Ash coming Ash Barrage. through. Does not take anything out. So you're not going to be nade just yet. Raging Bull unable to move. You get Pollen Puffs back up a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna get a ton of healing. Actually, heals it all the way wow. back up to full, which is incredible. That's a ton of health that still gets. Yeah, that's an amazing pollen puff right there. This Amoongus gonna be an annoying thorn in the side until it goes down. Seeing a swap out be hovered again as well. Incineroar being committed, gonna eat another Astral Barrage and. I think we got at least one or two more at least Astral Barrages here before anything goes down. Yeah, I think you have to Astral Barrage that turn as you need to remove any chance of it getting a Grimnay off the Amoongus death. Both Pokemon eat that incredibly well. And there's the Draco Meteor. Does not get wow. the knockout. Yeah, now it's Special Attack going to be going down. The U-turn comes through once again for this Rillaboom. Yeah, Shadow Rider really not the bulkiest of Pokemon, but you have to wonder, maybe this is a Shadow Rider more trained in bulk to live these big hits. Because I, if you're Emma, you're probably assuming that it's a Shadow Rider. It will go down to Draco Meteor here. Yeah, you'd be assuming that, but you know, sometimes people put in those unexpected IVs and natures that just make them that much more tanky. Akaf, though, could definitely seal the deal on this Calyrex Urshifu, weak to lightning. So. 
That might be the play here. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if we see another protect here. This game is getting down to the wire. It is anyone's guess at who can pull this out at this point. Exactly. It's down to the wire. Both There's players the protect. could pivot for a win. Protect comes through. Urshifu not waking up that turn is going to be imperative for Emma to be able to turn this one into a win. Knockoff gets blocked out. Was it a double commit onto the Calyrex? No. It one goes over to Urshifu and wow, just the Volt Switch almost takes it out. Yeah, it's a ton of damage and now you also remove that Draco Meteor debuff. Draco Meteor leaving it with that minus two, you need it back at full HP if you want any, or back at at least neutral stats if you want any chance to win today. Now the Moog is being swapped back in. You're down to your support mons, but they can still do some decent damage against whatever is up right now on the side of Matthew. Matthew has three Pokemon, Pokemon advantage, but he does not have... Or, wait, all three are up. I thought Raging Bull died for something. No, it just got no, swapped out. Still up. Emma in an amazing position here. Yeah, the question you have to ask is will Urshifu wake up this turn? By Emma's luck in this first game, Urshifu will probably wake up. You have to hope that stays asleep and hope you can get one more turn off of doing some meaningful damage. So we're being swapped out once again for this Raging Bolt. It does sleep, so it will be asleep for at least one more turn. There's the Spore. Here it is, sleeping the real boom, that Fire Terra now coming back to bite you. Urshifu regening a little bit of HP. Grassy terrain, not too bad, but it's almost working against Matthew at this point. Regenerating Emma's team as well, giving that Pollen Puffer even more survivability. That Amoongus was at, I think, yellow or red health a few turns back, and now it's back up to green. Yeah, Amoongus is in a great position. Battle is canceled. Emma comes back from behind and picks up the victory, reversing the sweep. Beautiful reverse sweep from Emma. Rough start in that game of one, but you know, you can always pivot for with your team, even without your Calyrex, without your restricted, and still perform and bring things around. Yeah, Emma played abs some great matches there and really, again, turned as much as their luck was against them in this whole game, found a way to win, and we'll have to keep an eye on them for the rest of the day today. Exactly. Our first game already going to a game three. It was an absolutely amazing performance from both players. Congrats to Emma for getting the win there. But we're just getting started here. We've seen both riders, both expected teams we've seen here today. So maybe going into the next round, we'll see some of those more unexpected teams as we have more locals here today in the scene as some people are busy on the weekend. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if we see Necrozma pop up today. I know there's a Necrozma floating <laughs> I heard around. about that. Zamazenta has been a huge pickup recently from our players, so I wouldn't be shocked if Zamazenta makes an appearance. There's the question of, I know Coridon is on, is on two or three different teams here. We'll see if Coridon makes an appearance today. It really is a question of who can knock down Maridon or Ice Rider. Exactly. There's so many questions, but there's going to be so many answers after we throw it to a quick break. But Eric, what are you most excited to see if I had to ask you a question? I want to see Kyogre. I love Kyogre. I think we got Spiel Alpha Rider over here. I want to see Kyogre and I want to see it perform well today. I'd love to see that. And you know what I'd love to see. I want to see some wacky stuff. I would even love to see the Necrozma. But we'll see if we have that in the next game. Thank you very much, everybody. We're going to have to ask you to take a quick break, though, with us as we get ready for round two of Swiss.